Everything looks to be working. Are you working? It is raining here. Is it raining there? Is anybody out there? Hello, hello, hello. My ninth grader has been texting me this morning. And I had to say, I have to go. I have to go do Tipsy Tuesday. <laughs> From one overthinker to another. I love that show. Uh, well, I'm on to, I'm on YouTube, so that's the good news. Good morning. Hello. Happy Tuesday. Um, my heart goes out to everybody who was in Louisiana in the path of Hurricane Ida. I hope I said the right name. Um, that's, we're getting the remains today. I hope everybody is safe. And I know there's a lot of people without power. We have, um, some places they're saying like over 20 days to get power. Can you hear that chime? That's my, oh, good grief. Um, <laughs> that's Reby texting me still. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd mute it, but then I get worried that like you won't be able to hear me, which probably doesn't make sense. I don't know. So good morning. I have lots of fun stuff to choose for you. I choose for you to share with you. Let's take a moment and do some deep breathing exercises. Uh, oh, last week's winner. I'll do that first. How about, how's the belt? Do, 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 do. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Diane Vetter Montavon is last week's Tipsy Tuesday winner. If you could email Laura at 5out4.com, that would be super helpful. You'll, you won a $15 gift certificate to 5 out of 4. I almost said to Tipsy Tuesday like I have something to sell here. Anywho, I'm wearing long sleeves today and pants. <laughs> That's one of my favorite gifs, by the way. Um, <laughs> except I'm not in like a silk robe. Uh, yeah, it's like 100% chance of rain. I'm actually thinking, I didn't think I'd get to go to curriculum. Do you guys go to curriculum night for your kids? I'm curious. Because, um... <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't enjoy it. Like it, at least when I'm inside the building, I can like see people I know and feel like I'm being social without having to actually be social. You feel me? And I can meet the teachers. We missed the open house. So I haven't met my kids teachers. Like that would be nice. Um, but it's virtual this year. I want to know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I get that. It's just, <sighs> So, and when you have twins who are in the same grade, but in different classes, they're at the same time. And so, hi, Heidi. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I hope you're getting settled. Um, but, and congrats. I think you got a new job. I think I saw that correctly. Okay, sorry, focusing. So, Jeff will have to go to one, I'll have to go to one, and then the kids will be running amok in the background. Some, ah, they'll be on electronics right at dinner time. Anywho, so I didn't think I'd be able to go today because Tuesdays are, curse word, crazy. <laughs> um, they're a little crazy. But with a 100% chance of rain all day, I think even uh, soccer might get canceled. Soccer is on the turf fields and they love to make the kids practice in the rain. Which when you have a child like Madeline who likes soccer, but like doesn't necessarily want to play in the rain. It's just hard. Hello. I want to see who this is saying hi to me. Colleen. Colleen, I'm kind of obsessed with your sweatshirt, and I would like to know what size it is. I'm just saying. If you don't like hoods. But I think it's too small for me. <laughs> it's beautiful. That, I don't know if you call it turquoise. Whatever call it, like Moroccan blue. We're going to go with a fancy color. That was a beautiful Annabeth. I, I thought we were soul sisters, but I can't get on the board on board with not liking a good hood. I don't even wear a hood, but I enjoy a hood. This might be my only non-hooded shirt. Good morning, Petrina. Oh, hello, Jenny. Jenny, I want you to know my son is a member of our Boy Scouts troop now. I don't know how to word that. Is a scout. Is a he's a Boy Scout. He's in Boy. I don't know. Um, but what's been fantastic is like, I think my husband's actually going to volunteer, which is a little funny, 
but there he's like super gung ho about it, and it's I think it's gonna be awesome. Teal, I love that color. <laughs> Wendy, I think everybody's getting the the day wrong this week. It's just crazy. Ooh, only supposed to be eighty three tomorrow. Ooh, I like baggy too. Bulky pressure, huh? Good morning, Robin. Ooh, a 10-hour workday doesn't sound good. Eh, that commute doesn't sound good either. Well, I get the... Uh, the only time they annoy me is when the whole... Like, they're heavy. If it's a lined hood, sometimes I have this. They're heavier than the shirt fabric, and so it pulls back. Now, after I had my surgery, it doesn't bother me nearly as much. Um, And I don't even pull the hoods up. I just... I don't... Here's... You know what it is. This is very pragmatic. When I have a good sweatshirt material, I'll show you. I have some fabric to show you today because I've been on a little bit of a, a spending spree. Not really. Like, I say that to make it, uh, like, I, I don't regret the choices I've made. I mean, today. <laughs> um, Madeline, one of my twins, asked for a sweatshirt, a zip-up sweatshirt. And she saw this, like, coral... Uh, oh, actually, she saw my turquoise, teal, whatever you color, and I didn't have enough. And then So So English didn't have that color in stock anymore. But they had this pretty coral, which must be like the color of the season for teen girls because uh, Jenny's obsessed with it, too. Good morning, Jessica. Jessica, I just saw some pictures you posted over in green style, I think. And they were awesome. I don't know if I actually commented or just thought about it. Aiden, you're with Colleen. On that side of the world. Ties are worse than hoods, so I miss that step. I like to make the, the ties a fun color. Okay. Um, so I, what I was going to say, <laughs> I can live in the desert. If I have a fabric like this and I make just a general sweatshirt, I'm always at a loss for what to do for a neckband. And the chances are, so often you can't find the right, like, you know, material that matches, and then you have to do a contrasting color. It's just not my jam. So here's my question. If I use navy as my twill tape, because you all know how I love a good twill tape pop of color along the zipper and the neckline, is that too dark? I don't want to do white, because let's be honest, white's going to be uh, dirty. There's. I could do, ooh, wait, hold on. I have another idea. I don't have it. I was hoping for a purple. I have this like electric blue, but I don't think that really works. Hmm. I wonder if I can get a purple here in time. Well, this is a one and a half inch plush elastic. I should have put these on those boxer shorts for Jeff. <laughs> ah. Purple could be nicer. I like the navy too, but you don't think it's too dark for, I mean, we're going with for a nine-year-old versus the purple. Can you even see this? You know, the electric blue doesn't make, I don't, I thought the electric blue was nice, but it's something about the sh <laughs> Is this awkward? Wait, get that out. <laughs> I'm going to try not to knock my head open. Navy. Purple pops. Purple. Navy. Purple. How did he like it? He liked his shorts. I mean, I haven't seen them on him. Um, he did get a good laugh. He loves the surfing Santa. I made a pot holder out of the surfing Santa. And so now it matches his boxer shorts. That's normal, right? <laughs> I would go with the navy. Yeah, I don't know if I like the electric blue. Something about it. It's just not the right shade. I, it just... I'm either navy, I'm a little tied up. <laughs> That's the uniform. Uh, Madeline is definitely not a jeans wearer. She is a leggings wearer. <laughs> Margie, sorry. Me and my 90s vibe, hilarious. I think Madeline might like the purple. But I don't have purple tool tape. I really thought I did. I must have used it for something else. 
Oh my gosh. The um the nutcracker. It was one of those things. I'll be honest. I did a I had to wing it a little bit. So I had I was supposed to have a yard, which should this is like kind of cozy. Excuse me while I just bundle up in here. Um <laughs> I I was supposed to have exactly Hello D, it is Tuesday. I'm wearing my uh Athena garb. Here we go. It's so cozy. Um, this isn't awkward at all, right? Like, I, ha I was supposed to have exactly a yard of the nutcrackers. And it's been washed and it sat in my stash for like two years. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, and I, I like was going through all my Christmas fabric. I mean, I had the Grinch, which I think I'll probably still make him a pair of Grinch boxers because that's fantastic. What else did I have? I don't know, like baubles or whatever. I had some random stuff. I love Christmas fabric or holiday fabric. We'll call it holiday fabric. Sorry. Oh, Colleen just sent me surfing Santa and panels from So Unique Fabrics. Oh, wait, the link didn't. Ah. Huh. Ooh. Some of these are cute. It's not quite the same surfing thing, though. Let's see if I can share this. Um, but so when I... Secondary display. Here we go. Some of these are pretty fun. Oh, my gosh. Does I, does Do people in Australia like kangaroos? I mean, like, that's a koala. What in the heck do you... I can't even see what we have going on here. An emu, a kangaroo, a wombat, a koala, and gala. What the heck is gala? Um. Oh, Halloween gnomes. Somewhere we were had Halloween gnomes too. Here's the surfing Santa. I painted a Santa. Do y'all remember that? I don't know if I have it here or if it's in the kitchen. I need to scan my Santa in now that it's Santa season. See? I, it might take me forever. Oh, here he is. Oh, wait, you're looking at the screen instead of me. Gala is a bird. <laughs> I swear. I'm really smart. I like this one. Isn't that pretty? It's like I start to see things, though, and then I get a little worried about my mental health. So here's the Santa that I painted. Um, I would love to put this on fabric, but I need, I'm, like, missing the window. Story of my life. Hello! All right, so, uh, as I was saying with the nutcrackers. I like went to put it on there and you know the boxer shorts if you if you've never made them or if you have made them before you like finish they look gigantic. I can't tell you the number of emails I've had. Oh, what store is that? It's so unique fabrics.com.au. It's in Australia. Um I should Don't don't judge it just cuz it's in Australia though because um I don't know what the shipping looks like. I will add to cart and see where it, where it takes me. Is this one of those that it also doesn't tell me if I, if one is oh is a half meter? I have feelings, <laughs> but let's look at at shipping. Um, so I it looks huge, right? I get so many. I, I not recently, but in the beginning, I got a lot of emails that were like. This can't be right. What happened? It's huge. Um, it's also <laughs> we give a fool. <laughs> I feel seen or judged. I'm not sure which. One of them, Boo Fabrics, used to have like super cheap shipping. Um, and some, they had a cute sports bra that my tweens like too. Man, look at me. It's all good. There's a lot of pie. Um, I can tell that it's not a, a U.S. company, though, because it says suburb on the checkout. 
Eh, I can't enter all this in fast enough to figure out what the checking the shipping looks like. Anywho, um, so as I'm I'm putting my nutcrackers or uh, I'm putting my fab, uh, I'm gonna get the story out. <laughs> Homemade underwear always looks huge. It does, even mine. I actually, I don't actually have any homemade underwear in my uh, drawer right now. True story. But yesterday I was wearing a pair without leg elastic. I need somebody to explain to me why this is a thing. Except then my husband did explain to me why it was a thing, but we won't go there because this is live. Anywho, focusing. I put the pattern on my nutcracker fabric. Just that makes me laugh. And, um, like, seriously, like, here's the end of my fabric. And it went over like that. And I'll tell you what. I just turned it. So they're off grain, Colleen. Try not to shiver, okay? Um, I did. I just turned it. And it's a woven pattern, but I figured I was cutting it on the bias. <laughs> I mean, seriously, worst case scenario at my house. Even the girls would wear boxer shorts to bed. So somebody would wear it. Who the heck cares? Um, nothing is more comfortable. I don't know. I like my underwear just fine. I have a very, so let's move on to the other fabric I have to show you here. So why have I been buying so much fabric? I promise that I'm doing okay. My mental health has taken a beating this summer, um, but I can honestly say I'm on the up and up. Hello, Amy. Uh, the kids are all back in school. Stella had her first day of school yesterday. She wore nothing homemade. Well, the bag was homemade. Does that count? Um, yeah, it was fantastic. And she's so happy. So I got so much done yesterday morning. It was awesome. But just that, like having uninterrupted thought. I love my kids. I love them. I love them. I love them. <laughs> but having um, more than, you know, 10 minutes without somebody standing at the door trying to get my attention. I need that for my mental health. I'll be super clear. 100% clear. Need some mommy time. Um, the fact is, though, with six kids in four different schools, it's a dang miracle. We are haven't been put in quarantine yet. Like, it's to the point where I'm really questioning if they're actually contacting people. Because the odds are not in my favor. Right? Uh, the good news is, is... Um, you know, we had it. So I feel a little bit better about the chances I take of putting everybody in school. Uh, Jenny, this year she does. So Stella is going every day this year, which is new. She's going to be a disaster by like Thursday. Um, we went to bed early last night for her. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but she's so excited and she has friends there. She's super social. Whereas Revy, you know, the first two years of Revy's life, we were alone, just the two of us. Um, Stella, the big kids went to school and she was like, no one's here to play with me. Like, I don't think she knows how to play by herself. <laughs> I might have put that on her form for her teacher. Um, okay, so I have birthday season. If you've been watching for a little while, you know that. And I get a little... I like to try new fabrics when I... Um, so... Let me back up. I know it, most of you know this. It's, you know, but um, every year for birthday season, I make a birthday outfit. Just one. We leave it out. I take a picture. You know, stuff like that. Oh, Tara, we can we can talk about this more. I live in Georgia. You know it's crazy. Um, I have thoughts. <laughs> I see your posts. I'm in the same mind, but I'm also trying to like protect my. My mental health. I know. It's one of those things. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, been there, done that, Allison. No more, it just goes right up. Mm -mm. I got I got it. I don't know. Okay. So when I'm making stuff, I always struggle with like what fabric to use. And even though I didn't make this for Jeff um, before his birthday... I wanted to try some, so you've heard me say that I've interviewed Leslie Haynes twice over in the um, 5 out of 4 family, and it's because, I mean, that woman knows more about specialty fabric 
I mean, it's just crazy. Um, and so I got this. Now this is a little thin, but it's like a workout. It's called, hmm, I'm going to mispronounce it. Leslie, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Cheeto Sante Interlock. It's a cooling fabric that like, or a moisture management fabric. Um, it feels like it. It feels like one of the, you know, Nike, I, if I get a run in it before I even sew it up, I might cry a little. It's a beautiful color. It really brings out my brown eyes. I don't know. Makes my hair look redder. How about that? Um, actually, this is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> um, so I'm pretty excited about trying this. I'm wondering what a, a neckband's going to look like in it. Eh, it's got some good recovery. So this is one that I got. All of these are from Discovery Fabrics. I mean, she... Yeah, I had to order some because she just keeps telling me about all this yummy fabric that I haven't tried yet. And so I wanted to try some new things. But I got a lot. You can see I got a lot. I think I might need to make myself... um. Oh. <laughs> um, My favorite fabrics. I've never heard of that. I gotta go check that out. Um, This could be a dress, so to say. Oh my gosh, I have the funniest story to tell you. Okay, so before we go through my other fabric, I'm going to throw myself under the um, Cheetos. That's amazing. Now nah, I want Cheetos. Um, oh, Sue, I want to know what you made out of it. So my husband's birthday was Saturday. And please don't jump all over me, okay? Okay. We're both fully vaccinated and we wore a mask the whole time. That's what you need to know. And I also live in the state of Georgia. Okay? So don't judge me. Or judge me quietly. I don't care. Um, so for his birthday, while we were um, on our way to the airport a couple weeks ago for a COVID trip that got canceled and then rescheduled, I um, we were talking about concerts we want to see. And, I mean, I've seen all, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm in India. We have no... Yeah. Um... I will say that, like, uh, our school at least requires masks. So we got that going for us. Anyway, the county right next to me, not so much. Um, so for we're on our way to the airport on one trip, right? And, and we're talking about concerts, and he's like, I just have one left that I really want to see, and a second one that I would see if I could sit, like, 10 feet away from her. Um, I'm a huge Bonnie Raitt fan. I'm showing my country a little bit. I'm fine with that. Bonnie Raitt has actually been touring with James Taylor recently. Oh, I'd totally rather read a book than see a concert. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second. <laughs> I mean, you can sit next to me. We can read a book. to. Well, you can read your own book next to me. Um, I'm just not really a musical person. I would, I mean, anyway. So Jeff said, I really want to see Chris Stapleton. And I'm like, who the heck is Chris Stapleton? Like, I got nothing. I know he's a country singer. I know he used to write songs for like all the, all the people. I'm just not, I'm not, I don't listen to the radio. Like I'm secretly super old. Okay. And deaf. And so as he's driving down the road, I pull it up. Well, damn if Chris Stapleton isn't, um, playing the Friday before his birthday. Oh my gosh. So get this. Oh, Amy. That makes me cry. Oh, Tara, that's funny. So that's my husband, Tara. He loves music. Yes! Well, I am a huge, just like Justin Timberlake and I could be BFFs. We would get in lots of trouble. It would be awesome. And he would teach me how to dance. Anywho. So Chris Stapleton was playing Friday night here in our town. Like, I didn't even have to travel downtown. I'm super lazy. And we go to see him, and I didn't tell Jeff. And so we are at dinner. He said he wanted a steak dinner. He was hoping we would make it at home. <laughs> Um, and, oh, that's cool. That's awesome, Sue. Um, and as we're sitting at dinner, Jeff's like, what are we doing? And I had found out that some friends of, I mean, mostly mine, like Jeff knows them, but they're guys I coach lacrosse with. We're also going to be at the concert with their wives. And, um, I had said to Jeff, like, Hey, by the way, like, I like to warn people just like I like to be warned. If I'm going to be in a social situation, I want somebody to tell me. Like, I don't like to be just like, surprise, we're having a party with a hundred of your clothes. No, nope. mm -mm. I got to mentally prepare for these, okay? And so I told him like, hey, by the way, it can turn social if you want to, but it doesn't have to. And he was like, okay. 
<laughs> I mean, he's used to like me going out and like saying hi and kissing babies. Um, he's 100% the introvert in this situation. Like I'm a, anyway, we won't go into that. So we're sitting at dinner. He's like, I'm going to play 20 questions. And finally we get to it. And his whole, fa- it was like a, it was like a kid on Christmas morning, y'all. I, beside our trip to the Bahamas, like where every day he was like, this is awesome. This is awesome. I mean, like it was the best trip we've ever been on. And we've been in a lot of places. This concert just like caught him so off guard. I felt like a million bucks, man. I was like wife of the year. I don't know. I don't have a prize or anything. I'll, I'll have my, mon- my, my gnome statue. <laughs> this is my trophy. Um. Oh my gosh. I am a complicated introvert extrovert. It was. Uh, he was so happy. It was awesome. And so he, we did go say hi to my friends, and um, that was super fun. But we just said hi and then went back to our seats. But the woman next to me, so I'm wearing my journey dress, which um, I don't know how fast I can find you a picture of it. Of course, I didn't take pictures while I'm out and about. I, like, really fear being judged for going out right now. It's like a thing I'm struggling with. I know. Um, we'll, we'll unpack that at a later date. Let's see if women's journey. I think at one point I actually put these photos in the right place. (laughs) Let's see. Uh, So I'm wearing my my favorite journey. Oh, this one you get to see kiddos. That's super fun. We'll do that one. All right, let's see. Um, Nope, wrong window. Man, I really wish this thing was easier to control. All right, so what in the heck is going on here? All right. Um, this is, yay. Hello, Debbie. Um, this is my journey. I'm obsessed with it. This is the cheapest, junkiest fabric ever. No, I didn't take any pics on the night. Do you know me at all? Of course not. I am not good at this. That is like, I, like I think about it and I don't know. Cause I would want it to be natural and there's nothing natural about posing. It's just, anyway, I have issues. Um, so these are most of my babies. Uh, you know what, what's funny is three out of five of these bathing suits are homemade. Um, this is obviously several years ago. This child in the orange over here is about to turn nine. Um, and her twins behind her. (laughs) Anywho. So this is one of my favorite dresses. It is the cheapest polyester fabric. It's lined with a, um an athletic knit that wicks fabric away though. And I just, I love it. I think it's beautiful. It like hit all, I mean, you know how sometimes you make something and then you're like, boom, I nailed it. That's this dress for me. So I'm wearing this and the woman, there's two women next to me. The people on my row are just, I mean, they're just smashed. Okay. And at one point this dude walks by in cutoffs and cowboy boots. And I'm like, just don't throw up on me. He's like, no, 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 no. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> this is why I don't go to concerts. Okay. And so little did I know that the two women next to me, like I knew one of them was hammered. There's a point to this story. I promise you're going to love it. There's a punchline, but I wasn't like, she just, she was just already like not enjoying the concert. Just like, you know, looking off into space. And the woman next to her was like dancing. And it was, uh, Cheryl Crow was opening. Which was like a bonus. Like I would never pay to go see Sheryl Crow, but we happen to know every song because that's like what was on the radio in the 90s. Like it's amazing how many of her songs I know. Uh, So we were cracking up about that. But as Chris Stapleton's playing and is loud because we're sitting close, she leans over and asks me a question. (laughs) And this is how, I don't know if antisocial is the word, but this is how like, cluelessly social I am. She leans over and asks me a question. And I assume for some reason that she's asking me what I do for a living. I'm getting really embarrassed. Can you see it? I don't know why she would be asking me what I do for a living. I don't know why she would be asking me anything other than can I have another drink? I don't know. And so I'm like, I'm a sewing pattern designer and I'm like leaning into her ear and shouting. Okay. So this is awkward on all fronts. I don't know this woman. (laughs) And she like rears back and she's like, 
you look awesome. You look like you work out all the time. And I'm like, you know, the wheels are clicking. And I'm like, oh, okay. You're like telling me I look good. Like, I gotcha. Okay, cool. And then she like takes another step back. Just that was the punchline, by the way, in case you didn't laugh. I felt like an idiot. But then she's like, did you make your dress? And I was like, yes, I did. And she's like, it looks like you bought it at Athleta. I'm like, girl, you're my favorite. And then her friend pukes everywhere. I mean, like projectile vomits onto the guy in front of her. (laughs) And y'all, I can't even talk about too long, okay? Because I'm already starting to feel bile. I'm a sympathetic puker. And so Jeff looks at me and he's like, eyes on the prize. Focus on the stage. Move over here. (laughs) I am happy to announce that I avoided throwing up. We're done talking about it at this juncture, though, because, um, yeah, I'm going to start throwing up. Okay, so back to my fabric story. (laughs) Okay, Jeff is still pretty excited about that concert, y'all. And I think it's also why uh, we have adopted another dog. Um, (laughs) You all know that uh, powder that... um, Oh, funny, Kelsey. You just missed my story. <laughs> um, that in elementary schools, they used to sprinkle when somebody threw up in the hallways. And it had that, like, really distinct smell. Well, like, that smell would make me throw up. And so when the young guys came in, uh, to clean it up, that's what they had was, like, some sort of powder. And I looked at Jeff, and my eyes were big. And he's like, it's not the same, babe. It's been 30 years since you were in high school. It's not the same. I think she was asking me, like, what I did to work out, Amy, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's not sawdust. It's like something else that should just be sawdust. But anyway. Oh, oh, 100% Stephanie. So that's why I don't go to like music festivals because here we have Music Midtown. Oh, my mom's on. <laughs> Let me see if I can get Abby in here. I don't know if I can get the camera down to her level. Um, I can show you a picture. Who <laughs> my mom just noticed what I said. So, um, can you see this? So we adopted a dog. Oh, somebody just texted me. Oh, soaps are on sale today. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it does look like kitty litter, but it smells. Man. One time they did it in the hallway, like from the bus buses, 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 like up the hill. And, um, like inside the building, and I just lost it right there next to the last one. Anyway, moving right along. Yeah, mom, sorry, we adopted a dog. Not a, not a puppy. So, um, no, oh, Jenny. Ooh. It's kind of a long story. Stand by me. <laughs> or Goonies, right? Oh, here comes Mavis because she's scared. Um, so my kid's teacher... The lovely Mrs. Adebayo. We love you. You're not watching, but just in case. Um, We, uh, no, like it wasn't planned. And my mom would not like, um, not my mom. (laughs) My mom either. (laughs) I mean, we've got six kids. We do not need another dog. But, um, hilarious. Sour mops is terrible too, though. There's nothing worse than mopping with a sour mop. Anyway, uh, I'm friends with Miss Adebayo. She had my son in third grade, and now she has Madeline. She is, like, an amazing teacher. Kellen wrote this whole essay on, like, women's rights around the world, which for a kid with five sisters, like, I cried, ugly cried when I read it. Um, And so she posted on Facebook that her mom is sick, and it doesn't, like, the outlook's not good, and that they need somebody to take care of her dog. And I was like, "I, I got a call. And Jeff was like, what? no. (laughs) And I, you know, I just called and she's like, are you sure? Like your house is crazy. You already have a dog. And I'm like, look, we'll meet the dog and we'll see how it goes. Like I got to get my husband to sign off on this because it's a dog and we don't like puppies. We're not chain like, um, we're not, uh, we're not training a dog right now. Right. But Abby comes to the house last night with the mom and Mrs. Adebayo. So my kids are like, this is awesome. The teacher's at my house. And um, Jeff comes down off a call because the kids are all freaking out. And 
this is like the chillest black lab ever. She's old. She's eight. And so it's Jeff then got worried that like we're going to get attached and then the dog's going to pass away. But like it was just the right thing to do. So mom, we got a new dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's not in here right now. If she comes in, I'll try and get the camera on her. We'll see what we can do. But all right. Back to my fabric because I'm talking y'all's head off. So I, uh, as I was posting, uh, or as I was ordering from Discovery Fabrics, I just like, I actually did two orders. One was for all the shirts I want to do. And um, that was that Cheetah Sante. I just wanted to say Cheetos again. I'm not, not lying. Um, and then this one, I also ordered, let's see. So this is Bamboo Stretch Jersey in Stellar. I think I can name colors. Like, what a great, what a great life. I have sewn with bamboo before, and I love it. Um, I'll be honest, some of this is for me, some of this is for my kiddos, but I have a plan for all of these fabrics. So, ask me how my sewing is going. Mom, no. Um, she's going to love you, Mom. She's going to want to snuggle with you. Anyway, uh, I love bamboo. It's super cozy. I have that Jersey Weekender I was telling you all about last week, I think maybe. And, um, I want more. I want more. Oh my gosh. A black lab corgi mix. That's like the best thing I've ever seen. That sounds amazing. Padfoot is a great name for that dog. Um, but then as a, an, an expensive aside, which I question my motives here, I ordered the tank pack. I don't know why. Oh, we all have plans. Yes, yes. Oh, so that was it, Vicky. Like, she actually started crying. And my, you know, like, Jeff knew what was happening. Like, I didn't spring it on him, spring him on, on him. But, like, they actually said, like, okay, we'll give you 24, you know, just think about it and let us know. And they started to get in the car. And I looked at Jeff, and he's like, that dog's awesome. And so I, like, ran outside, and they, and, you know, they came back inside, and and they were. They it was just like a load off their shoulders. And anyway, I love this family. So okay, so this is a tank pack from Discovery Fabrics. It's tank and tea surprise packs. It came with bamboo stretch jersey in Dahlia. What the heck color is Dahlia? Oh, that's purple. <laughs> Maybe I couldn't name colors. So that's like a bright purple. I thought Dahlia was like a pale pink. Um Oh, Mary, that's awesome. My husband loves Australian Shepherds. And Tammy just, Tammy from Love Notions just got an Australian Shepherd. And so did Laura. They're both beautiful. Uh, Jessica, if you saw my room right now, you'd be like, Jessica, no. <laughs> so bamboo stretch jersey, bamboo cotton jersey, which what the heck's the difference, Leslie? I know she's not online, but she'll tell me later. So the bamboo stretch jersey is the purple, which it feels just like this so it feels divine um and then this is one of them which i think is super fun i'll show you Hold on. you know it's not the the um feeling maybe it's because of the the print on it um it's not sheer though so that's got it going for it but isn't that fun something different i want a flowy tank even though we're moving into fall here just Here's the only one I'm a little concerned about. This is a micro tinsel jersey. Oh, I just thought of something. How much do I have here? I have a lot. Y'all. We were talking about slips last week, and I said I wanted a, um, wow, this is like kismet. I said I wanted a satin slip to go under my Sophie dress that I was planning. But this is micro tinsel jersey in white. And it's a little sheer. Okay, it's a lot sheer. Um, but it's kind of, it would be nice. Where's that? Oh. Don't mind me. So this is my bubble crepe that is also sheer. And I want to make a Sophie out of it. And I think it'll work if I make a, if I make a, um, if I, you know what I'm going to use is the Cecilia. I might make it more A-line. Yeah. So this, there's like a, that's not a nice way of saying it. I was going to say this is a crap ton of fabric. Let's think of a nicer way to say it. This is a lot of fabric. Um, and it was like, 
$55? I don't ever buy surprise packs. Is it soft? It, this is super soft, Wendy. Um, I sound like an idiot. It's very soft. I was a little dismayed that it was so transparent. Or Is that the right word? Oh, sorry. Your fabric's messing with the focus and lighting. You know, I can't even see my face right now, so sorry. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Um, because I wanted, like, just a tank, and I'm not going to wear a white tank that's see-through. That's not me at all. But I'm going to turn that bad boy into a slip, and it'll be lovely. Right now it's going in a pile of fabric on my floor. That's normal, right? It is a lot for $55. It's a ton. Um, I need to write down my plan and write down what the heck the fabric is so I don't forget. Because I have this. I still haven't received my fabric from Blended Threads. It's been shipped. Now, here's my thing, y'all. And I, I love Blended Threads. That's the um, hoodie that I wear all the ding-ding time. The black and white geoprint. Right? That's Blended Threads. I bought that from a 5 out of 4 person. I don't even remember who, honestly. Um... So it was like, whatever, not used, but she bought it and then didn't sew it up, whatever you call that. Anywho, uh, and I love that fabric. That's French Terry. And so I had no problem sounding um, <laughs> like buying more from Blended Threads, but I paid $25 for shipping. And maybe it's because it's coming from further away. I'm not really sure. A notebook when I order would be helpful. Hmm. Um... But I also ordered from Black Rabbit Fabrics on the same day, and that got here last week. And I haven't gotten the blended threads yet. It's not due until the 7th of September, which is, I'm not going to lie, it's cutting a little close for me. Uh, the twins' birthday is the 18th. So I'm a little surprised by how long it's taking. Not trying to be judgy. It has already shipped, and I know Canadian shipping can be a little crazy. But last night, I actually messaged Leslie Haynes over at Discovery Fabrics. And said, okay, what would be good for joggers? Because I've decided that Madeline, I'm going to make leggings. And then, um, oh, I can show you what I got at Black Rabbit. Uh, ba 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 ba. Um, for Sydney and Reevy, I'm going to make joggers. My family's like obsessed with joggers. Isn't that funny? Because it's like not sweatpants, like goofy Walmart sweatpants. You feel me? Um, I wonder. I wonder if I logged in. Yeah, I did not. <laughs> Classic. What did I get from Black Rabbit? I've already drawn a blank, y'all. Kind of sad. It's loading. Loading. So, yesterday, in all my quiet time... Oh! Here it is. Sorry, Rubens. Oh my gosh, y'all can laugh at me. It's slightly shades. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So I ordered fire red and raspberry. It's just... Wow, that's awesome, Heidi. Um, so from Black Rabbit, I also got this grass faux linen cotton jersey, which feels really nice. It's just a... I mean, it's just cotton jersey. And then a Essex yarn dyed linen which uh, I'm excited about using on my new pants pattern. So, let me show you real quick. Let's see if I have a picture still somewhere. No, apparently not. Oh, that's why. So I'm like 100% sure I already shared this photo. And of course, oh, here we go. Do, 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 do. So this is my kitchen, <laughs> but also, oh, wait, come back over here. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to where you'll actually be able to see it. <laughs> I actually need more hot pink because I love using pops of color for different things. Here I am. All right. So these are Jenny's. This is Jenny, my new 13-year-old, and this is my dirty cabinet in the background. Don't, don't mind me, but, um... She saw some pants like this at Urban Outfitters that she really liked. And this is a really lightweight chambray that I was saving for myself. And it is the style to pull them up really high. We won't go over that right now. Anywho, she loves these pants. 
And so at first I was thinking of just doing women's, but now I'm going to do both women's and men and kids, not men, sorry. Um, but both adults and kids. And yesterday I had free time for the first time since like May and I finished the kids pattern, like the first draft. Um, I'm pretty pumped by that. Gotta be honest. I even like drafted the pockets for the back of the pants instead of the front, like front pockets. I mean, I accidentally put them on the back and I still had time to fix it. So she is, I know she looks like a movie star all the time. It's ridiculous. My husband and I were cracking up on our trip because it's like all of us are on the boat and like our hair is in our face and she's over there looking like a movie star. Um, she's fantastic though. So we, uh, do, 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 sorry. Oh, Heidi, I've had a lot of trouble trying to send some stuff to Europe recently. Oh, well, there you go. It's definitely the trend right now for young girls to wear their pants that high. It's cracking me up. It was not in style, but I like it. I like it for me. Um, but she loves that, you know, and I'm pumped about getting some different stuff. I'm going to make linen for myself, but I want to find the hard balance in my head is, is like, I want a lightweight cotton woven, like the chambray, but I want a fun print. And if you buy it in a store, it's not really a bottom weight fabric. I mean, Urban Outfitters is not known for clothing that's going to last a long time, let's be honest. Um, but like, I want a fun design. So I might have to make a little trip over to, um, one of our warehouses here in town. Let the kids play hide and seek because <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible when they do that. All right. Uh, last, but certainly not least, we have notified the new ambassador team members. Um, we're pretty excited about this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little overwhelmed by every, like all the moving parts. So I'm trying to get like everything in order and organized and, um, and smoothly going little insight into back end technology that is not Jessica's forte. Um, my affiliate program, I hate it. I hate the user interface. I hate the interface for me. Affiliates can't see anything. They can't change their PayPal address to actually be a useful PayPal. It's so frustrating. And so I got a new one and then I went to like transfer all the affiliates to the new one and it didn't work. And so then I reached out for help and they're like, Oh, we don't do that right now. And I'm like, I don't want to do it by hand. And so I'm just going to warn you, like there's a decent chance, like if you're interested in being an affiliate, you're going to have to re-sign up because this new one is much better for what you'll be able to see. It won't be like smoke and mirrors because I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy smoke and mirrors. I like things to be very upfront and clear. Um, yeah. Uh, that question, how does the Essex compare to the Brussels washer linen? I have no idea. I, uh, what I, here, uh, <laughs> I'm like looking at the website now, like, let's see. Linen. All they carry is Essex. I am very curious. I should have ordered this Malibu color though. It's that turquoise color again. It's 55% linen, 45% cotton. It's not the softest. This is Robert Kaufman. Um, oh. The affiliate rate for non-ambassador people is 15%. Um, I feel that, Mary. Whew. All right. So that is my crazy, crazy life. Oh, see, where do I get that one then, Amy? No, oh, wait, who said that? Tara, where do I get the other kind? Because this isn't super soft. Ah, Allison, there will be, I'll have to share a link. Um, 
This one actually enables you to put whatever you want at the end instead of like a random number too. So you can make it like if you if you call your um, sewing company so so sweet, although that's sort of close to a different company. Anyway, uh, I think you can put that at the end. I'm still trying to figure it out. This is taking up an enormous amount of my day, but I wanted to like change on August 31st so I can like pay out and then start on September 1st. That's what I'm doing today. <laughs> Pray for me. Um, and we'll post a link showing everybody where to go to sign up again. And then somebody will sign up on the old one invariably and it will get lost. Anyway, I apologize in advance for all of the wrinkles that this is going to cause because it's going to cause a lot. All right. It's raining here. It's raining all day. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I had a meeting with Skillshare yesterday. I did not get picked as a uh, staff pick, unfortunately. I was trying not to be bummed about that. But according to my Skillshare contact, um, they're really happy with like how well my class is doing. It's got like it's up to seventy-seven viewer or followers or something. Um, you know, it did. It has already come back from the spa, Jessica. I mean, it feels okay. I think once with wearing it, I think it'll help too. We'll find out. I'm one of those that prays that my first draft is my final draft, and it rarely is. Let's be honest. Uh, so we're in the works for like what a second one can be. The hardest part is going to be balancing because I have to figure out how to balance patterns and Skillshare instead of I just and I got to get my Skillshare timeline shrunk, which involves just like getting into a routine. I know that takes some time, so we'll figure out. Anyway, that's it for my exciting life. I hope y'all are all doing well and staying safe. Wow, 102 with no chance of rain. No, thank you. <laughs> but I hope you take care. Um, remember, never stop sewing, never stop growing, and uh, tune in next week. See you soon.